Our reading for today comes from Colossians chapter 1, verses 10 through 15, excuse me, verses 15 to 20. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things in heaven and on earth were created, things visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or powers. All things have been created through him and for him. He himself is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, so that he might come to have first place in everything. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him God was pleased to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, by making peace through the blood of his cross. This is the word of the Lord. Christ. And in him are two natures. 
God and man. 100% God. Right there, right before you. And 100% man. Right there, right before you. So you are beholding an image of the image who is the only 200% person who ever lived. That doesn't stop the word hand. In that hand of blessing that Jesus holds out there, we have then three fingers touching. Who is this Jesus, this one, in whom the fullness of God dwells? Who is this? He's God. He's always God.
has put into your life. No longer discord, no longer despair, but peace by the blood of his cross. Go back sometime today, tomorrow, the next day. Go back and read Colossians 1, verse 20. By the blood of his cross, he brings it all together. God, man, bring it together by the blood of his cross for you. And bring it to you his righteousness. Bring it to you his peace. And this is where I want to leave you. I want to put a word of God into your pocket. I want you to look at this image of the image of God. And look at that face and, and those hands and that life which saves you. Which saves you. And will remind you daily that image is everything. And that image that Adam and Eve lost, and that image that you do not have by your own flesh and blood, well, that image has been restored to your life. To put off your old self, which belongs to your former manner of life and is corrupt through deceitful desires, and to be renewed in the spirit of your minds and to put on the new self. If anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. The old has gone, behold, the new has come. And to put on the new self, created after the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. That is an image of the image. But your image has been restored in true righteousness and holiness. And it's this passage from Ephesians 4 that I want to put in your pocket so that you can take out in places like this and places like those to know 